Hi, hi, hi. I told you it would be somewhere new, and here we are. <laughs> I just spent the last, um, Fourteen hours traveling. It was great. It's fun to do this little remote setup. I think it's working. If you can hear me, okay. Test one, two. Felt really good to just sit down and meditate for a while. Oh my god, look at that, the candle went out. Keep it right here. What does it mean? It means I'm shuffling the cards. See what today's about. It's Tarot After Dark. It's Tarot Camp Edition. This place back here, that's where I'm staying tonight. Full Moon Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Work through your fears, new moon Scorpio. A fiery climax approaches, full moon Aries. Wow. This is about... Taking a step back. This is about acknowledging I think you're worth here. There might be some anger here to work through. There might be a little bit of anger. It's almost like someone's trying to look at the bigger picture but is having some sort of attachment here. There's fear and anger. Maybe not necessarily, but like, not maybe not necessarily the purest form of those things. Just that that's what's being processed right now. Fear and, and anger. Maybe someone's angry at themselves. This is about... I think this is, at the same time, vulnerability. It's almost like the, that sort of, that, that kind of sensitivity is what's happening here. Like if, if anger in some ways is not a result of being hardened, but a result of vulnerability um, is what's happening. So in that, to that extent, I, okay, it's the Knight of Wands. It's not the page, but I swear to God, <laughs> it shows up again. It will show up, because this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting that this is about possibly feelings of anger for not seeing the bigger picture. For being stuck in attachment. For returning to the fear state one too many times. I know that the last two readings were pretty intense and I feel like this is, if this is a continuation of that, it's, it's on the mend and I will say that it's not worth punishing yourself. Yeah, don't, don't punish yourself for this. Okay. 
I got a new table height, so this is <laughs> a little awkward. The devil underneath. Yeah, free yourself. Freeing yourself from whatever it is you're holding on to here. Or whatever has it's got its grip on you. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Two of Swords. Aw. Yeah. There's the Page of Wands. <laughs> and the Tower. The Star. Lovers. Six of Swords. I mean, why did I just say that? Six of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. Oh, this feels like a really good read. <sighs> yeah, so if, if this is a continuation of the last couple reads, which have been really intense, it's this is showing that um, this is about processing attachment for yourself. Um, and I see you doing that. But then there is a bit of a mental block. It's almost like I don't want to see it. I don't want to know it because you're still. It's almost like the song. I get knocked down, but I get up again. That is the vibe of this reading. I think that now is a really good time for some grounding because I see the energy of the card sort of going towards I get back down, I get up again. Um, and if you're on this mend, then you have to ground yourself or else tower. There's this tower in the middle. You can help yourself through it. I think through some compassion for yourself and realize, you know, allowing things to take time and healing to occur. Um, and or, you know, the universe drops you a little hint. Um, in the form of this tower moment here in the center. The tower in the in the center is just validating that this is an it could feel like an extremely intense time. Now maybe the cards are showing me like the really I'll say optimistic version of, of a similar story from the last couple days. This is, I'm in a much more peaceful environment, so I feel like that might have something to do with it, but oh man, I saw an armadillo in the woods when we got here, and the armadillo represents uh, personal boundaries and saying no to things that are holding us back. And the Ten of Wands is here as the as the final card, which I feel is really important because it's about letting things go that don't belong to you. It's like, yeah, good for you. You can carry all these wands up a hill. Um, and you might be, you know, you might be lauded for that. Like, good for you, sort of. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic way, like, we can see you doing the work, um, but that's not really the point. I think a previous read was about doing work in quiet, and this doesn't feel very quiet. This feels... I'm just realizing that in the last read, the card that came in this position was the Crescent Moon, 
We have the Crescent Moon here again in the Two of Swords. This is potentially about um, gaining, co needing to gain confidence in some kind of decision that needs to be made. feel like there's a sudden realization, an event or a realization that will turn you towards healing, um, towards hope. Yeah, you know, the tower and the star follow in sequence in, in the tarot. That's got to mean something. A, a very direct progression this than that immediately. We're entering the lover's year. 2022 is a lover's year. Also the devil. The devil comes right before the tower. I'm just realizing all of this now. So That's why probably this feels very intense, like if there's in, there's been very intense readings lately and I know a lot of people are going through a lot of different things um, and feeling different ways about the end of the year and what they've accomplished and what the new year will hold and you know things Venus retrograde is doing for us, bringing things up to be challenged. Um, this is all in in your best interest. This is about finding something a little more wholesome for yourself. Um, and not relying on, you know, things that we should be saying no to in the first place. So whatever bad habits um, or crutches that seem to show up, what I, I see that there's a lot of fire to want to deal with that but the trouble comes when our minds work against us when we don't give ourselves enough time and space to allow for this transformation to occur and I feel like there's a chance that a lot of people aren't being totally fair with themselves so this might be a message for somebody who needs a little, find a little compassion, a little bit, again, gratitude is the medicine, but this is what I was going to say earlier, the, the crescent moon came out in this position, and it, the message was gratitude is the medicine, I feel like the medicine is again showing up in this position, the strength card, this is a, this is a need to fortify oneself, did I talk about the armadillo already? I can't remember. The armadillo's spiritual message is also to fortify oneself, to believe in your dreams. Um, it is ab it's about boundaries. It's about setting healthy boundaries that, um, yeah. So you, you, you don't have to feel like you're doing so much work all the time. I feel like you've got to lessen your load. It's time to lessen the load a bit. Shooting star at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> this is a really nice read. Um, there's Cancer Aquarius, Gemini, here. So let's do the thing that MJ does. MJ is one of my favorite, one, one of, yeah, one of my favorites, I guess, favorites. Somebody that I look to when I was learning, when as I'm learning tarot. She does this thing where she finds the astrological signs on the table, and then we dig deeper. So um, this might be relevant to you if you're dealing with a Cancer, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or Leo. Sorry, Leo's here as well. Um, and I guess I'll say generally fire signs, because um, Queen of Wands is here. 
I'm not actually sure who she represents. Okay, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. dealing with the Capricorn this might be about a past situation that you feel like uh, is no longer working and so instead of again fiery climax approaches instead of taking the sword and trying to win at this game um, it's time to sort of take a step back and evaluate how to get closure for yourself for the situation five of wands underneath this is a conflicting situation for you um, let's look at Gemini. Ah. If you're a Gemini or, or you're dealing with a Gemini, the need for this, um, um, this compassion for yourself is is it coming out of need out of a need to feel more balanced so that you can um, nurture your dreams, nurture the thing that you want to do and grow as a person. I feel um, this is a time to take some rest for yourself and and to find that to nurture yourself, find some balance because there's some messages that want to come in for you, maybe about how to manifest your dreams. Gemini. Let's look at um, Aquarius. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, Aquarius you or the Aquarius you're dealing with I see here I guess um, a, a wish that some that things had turned out differently um, there's sort of like a need to approach things from a, like a non-traditional standpoint in order for something to work Uh, maybe this is a this is maybe this could be I don't know another interpretation that you're wanting to manifest something for yourself without doing the work um, that could definitely lead to a bit of a tower moment um, the work he, the the cards that come came out is that it's it's time to have an open mind and work through your fears. So that's why I could see it go almost both ways. Uh, and finally, Leo. Actually, let's just do go ahead and do fire energies. All the fires. There's a lot of fire on the table, so. goodness yeah so fire signs are, are repeating some sort of cycle here I see, there's the wheel of fortune the three of wands five of Pen five of cups and the king of cups so if you're a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign Leo Aries Sag There's a great there's a there's a feeling of disappointment for some for something that was very painful and now um, I feel like in, instead of again this is the two of swords instead of making a decision to move forward um, they're sort of hardened in some resolve in some cycle the cycle wants to end fire signs you might be getting a little tower moment maybe that's why there's so much fire here 
so many wands on the table and the tower in the center. This might be affecting fire more. Well, that was fun. That was really fun for me. Okay. I think I'll keep it there. Um, I got another day tomorrow. So thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment. Like the video. Say hi. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Confirming, yes, this was great. <laughs> I love doing this in nature. Okay.